Watching a science fiction movie full of futuristic gadgets and gizmos elicits two kinds of emotional response from most people. First, it's, oh, that technology's pretty neat. Whereas the second response is, dang, I hope they invent that before I'm dead. Well, depending on your taste in movies, those clever science jerks just might do that. So let's find out which of your favorite fictional futuristic devices you may be able to get your hands on in our list of seven sci-fi technologies coming soon. Number 7. Back to the Future's Self-Tying Sneakers Back to the Future showed us many amazing futuristic concepts. Hoverboards, food hydrators, almost having sex with your mom. But none seemed as achievable as Marty McFly's self-tying sneakers. The human imagination truly knows no bounds when it comes to inventing ways to do less stuff. And Nike has made our laziest dreams come true with the release of the mag. Rather than employing traditional laces, the mag uses embedded actuators which conform to your foot's shape using pressure monitors. When you step your foot into the shoe, your heel hits a sensor and the system automatically tightens. And in case something's not quite right, there are two buttons on the sneaker's sides allowing you to manually adjust tightness. If this still isn't enough for you, there's also a massive bright glowing light on the underside of the shoe. You know, to make it look all futury and junk. At the time of writing, one pair of special edition mags sold for over $100,000 at auction in Hong Kong. So I'm still pretty happy with my self-lacing Dora the Explorer Crocs. Number 6. Star Trek Matter Transporters this entry is a little bit of a cheat since it actually involves the replication of an object rather than its actual transportation elsewhere, as you'd see in Star Trek, but it's still pretty nifty. Created by German engineers, a machine nicknamed Scotty mirrors the effect of a Star Trek transporter by scanning an object in one chamber and 3D printing it in another. The entire process of how it works is hidden from its user, with their only interaction involving the placement of the object in the machine the selection of a location to send it to, and the pressing of a button. Because unfortunately, the only way the machine can get a detailed view of the object's interior is by slicing it into tiny layers using a milling machine. So you may want to consider that before you throw your hamster in there. When the prototype was created in 2015, there were a few other limitations to the machine aside from tiny rodent death, including the fact that all objects had to be painted black and it could only replicate things in plastic. But with more complex versions of the matter transporter currently in the works, maybe soon we'll have a model that's more compatible with beaming up hamsters rather than carving them up into delicious wafer-thin slices. At 5. Flexible Phones from Every Sci-Fi Movie Ever If you're anything like me, you'll hate the way a smartphone in your shorts back pocket ruins the line of your stunningly sculpted buttocks. But worry no more, fellow ass fans, because futuristic roll-up phones are almost upon us. In early 2016, researchers at Queen's University created what they call the first flexible holographic smartphone. And the best part is, is that it runs on Android. <laughs> Steve Jobs' corpse must be rolling in his grave. The device is called the Holoflex, and aside from making it ultra-portable, the smartphone's flexible body and touchscreen allow it to display a glasses-free three-dimensional image, simply by bending it into a curve. At the moment, the Holoflex phone is just a prototype, but with Lenovo, Samsung and Moxie all preparing to launch similar gadgets over the next 12 months, it won't be long before your smartphone bends entirely to your will and the shape of your sweet, sweet tush. In at 4, Star Wars Speeders If you're able to sit through the speeder scenes in Star Wars without wishing you could take a ride on one, then quite simply you are not a human being and deserve to be taken into the desert and shot. But for the rest of us with actual souls and feelings, speeders could be available for purchase within the next 12 months. Aerofex, a California-based startup company, have developed the Aero X Craft, 
a vehicle described as a hovercraft that rides like a motorcycle which can fly at 72 kilometers per hour while hovering at 3 meters off the ground. There's also a beefed-up version in the works from UK company Malloy Aeronautics, who claim their hoverbike craft will be able to reach 274 kilometers per hour at the same altitude as a helicopter. But since humans are reckless jerks who like to get drunk and crash things, commercial versions of these craft will probably be limited to a 3-meter, 30-kilometer-per-hour model, if we're even allowed these fancy new toys at all. In at 3. Star Trek Tractor Beams Is your soda can or tube of cookie dough sat staring at you across the room? agonizingly beyond the reach of your lazy, fat paws? Well, in the future you may be able to summon said objects like a god by using a sound-based sonic tractor beam to drag it towards you. In 2015, a team at the University of Sussex used an array of loudspeakers to create an acoustic hologram, and this hologram could be controlled, allowing them to manipulate objects in different ways. Researchers managed to create a gripping tool similar to tweezers or fingers and successfully used it to grip a small bead, create a vortex around it to move its location, and even a cage-like barrier to hold it in place. It was already known that sound could be used to physically affect objects, but until recently we've never been able to control this ability to such a degree. It's like Magneto graduating from vibrating a stapler to moving whole stadiums halfway down the street. Except rather than using this technology for evil, it could be used to revolutionize the electronics industry and the performance of delicate surgeries. The only drawback is it can't be used in space, since sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. But if it'll get me the remote without moving my butt one inch, that's a downside I'm happy to take. Number 2. Minority Reports Air Touch Display Today, virtual touchscreens are limited to either the unreliable manipulation of images on a screen, as with the Kinect, or an interaction with virtual objects seen through a pair of goggles or glasses. But as air touch technology becomes more accurate and holographic projections improve in detail, these floating virtual interactive screens from Minority Report start to become a distinct possibility. Especially when you consider that in June 2016, Apple filed a patent for exactly this kind of technology. So maybe you can't use those $300 headphones with your iPhone anymore, but magic 3D apparitions you can move with your hands easy peasy. And at number one, the Iron Man suit. Warning, Iron Man spoiler alert. The Talos Tactical Assault Light Operator Swimsuit may not be able to soar through the skies like Iron Man, and nor does it come with a sassy built-in artificial intelligence to keep you in check. The Talos is a battery-powered exoskeleton developed by the U.S. to protect frontline soldiers, mostly those who take point during dangerous incursions into hostile buildings and territories. To do this, it uses liquid armor technology which solidifies when hit by a projectile, along with an array of sensors capable of monitoring the soldier's heart rate and body temperature. Further enhancements are also expected to allow the Talus suit's wearer to lift extremely heavy objects, and having been in development for several years in conjunction with 56 corporations, 16 government agencies, 13 universities, and 10 national laboratories, the first fully operational prototype is expected in 2018. So, if your career's guidance counselor predicted the future in villainous schemes and shenanigans, you've got about 12 months to set up your evil empire before superhuman soldiers come to end you. And that's our list. Personally, I'm disappointed it didn't include those magical stretchy pants that always seem to fit the Hulk no matter how big his ass is, or Black Widow's catsuit which somehow makes a regular woman into an invincible killing machine.